Today on the Cardinal Sports Network, we bring you Varsity Swimming as your Lawrence Cardinals will be taking on the Nottingham North Stars. start of the girls 200 medley relay. Early leader in lane four, Emerson Dalton setting the pace for the rest of the field. Over here in lane two, we've got Katie Sullivan giving good chase. At the turn, it's going to be Dalton out front still. And Sullivan still holding off Burke for second place. Uh, at the changeover, we've got Olivia Yuckmau going in lane four for Lawrence. Over in lane two, Leah Kibbe. So far, Yuckmau maintaining that lead that was set by Dalton. In fact, Yuckmau coming up to the turn. There's the turn, and she'll head back the other direction. Followed close behind, however, by Leah Kibbe in lane two. Lawrence Swimmer starting to pull away from Nottingham. Well, Nottingham sitting a good solid third place right now. Now uh, coming in to tag up is Yuckmau. And into the water goes Paige Van Heis in lane four, followed closely by Molly Romaine in lane two. A lot of good energy here from the Cardinal swim team. Van Heis coming up on the turn. There she goes. And now Romaine making the turn. Van Heis is stretching out that lead. It's getting to be about a two swimmer length lead for first right now. And Van Heis is going to tag up and hand it off to Alex Murphy to swim the final leg of this event. Over in lane two, Rika Sharman's in the water for Lawrence as well. And these girls are really moving. Murphy with the turn. And she's well out ahead now. But we've got Sharma giving chase in lane two. And in lane four, coming in for the win, it's Alex Murphy with a time of 2.26.43. Sharma will tag in for second place for the Cardinals with a time of 234-41. Swimming in lane three for the North Stars 
is Aqua. She's going to tag in for third. And over there in lane number six, Nicole Dong's going to go the distance for the Cardinals. And bring it in in fourth position. Good swim by all the girls. Two hundred medley relay now underway. Only got one team in the water for Lawrence and two teams for Nottingham. Lawrence team led by Nick Straka is well out front already by two lengths after the first length of the pool. He's already headed the other direction. And he's got just about a half a lap on the swimmers from Nottingham. Now Straka heading for the changeover. He'll tag up and Josh DeMarco enters the water for the Cardinals. DeMarco glides half the length of the pool on his dive in. Now he'll tag up for the return. Another good glide there by DeMarco as he went almost half the length of the pool that time. Lawrence setting a pretty good pace in this event. There's the changeover as Thomas Carpinelli enters the water for the Cardinals. Carpinelli also a diver on the dive team recently set a points record for highest number of points earned by a single diver in a single meet for Lawrence. Carpinelli heading back towards the changeover. And it's going to be Milo Suskoskovic into the water for the Cardinals to finish it out. And he's starting to lap some of the Nottingham swimmers. There's the turn. And he doesn't glide anywhere near as far as what Carpinelli was doing. But he's making time on the surface. Headed back towards that finish line. And he'll tag in for the win with a time of 2.10.84 for the Cardinals. Lane three, I believe that's Tezak. Trying to finish up for Nottingham. Tezak on his way back towards the finish line. And Tezak will tag in for a second. For the time of 257.47. Now into the water in lane one. Got Chiarella. Chiarella swimming strong. To try and finish this event out for the North Stars. Chiarilla tags up to finish out the meet in third. Finish out the event in third, I should say. 
That will do it for the relay. Up next, the girls, 200 yard free from visiting North Star. Tomales, lane three, Barry, lane five. Watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Girls 200 free. And into the water they go. Looks like all three of the Cardinals out front early on in this event. Early leader seems to be Carmaker in lane four. Actually, four and six dead even. That's Carmaker. I'm sorry, that's Rihanna Lewis over there in six. And we got Carmaker in lane four. They are swimming just about dead even here. In fact, I couldn't tell which one of them hit the wall first on that turn. Definitely a good battle here between these two. The angle of our camera makes it look like lane four is out front with Carmaker, but at the turn, they're dead even once more. And now it looks like it might be a little bit of an edge going to Lewis in lane six. Now it seems like Carmaker coming back on the inside. Still dead even at the turn. Very good matchup between these two. Riley Burns holding on to a good solid third place. And the Cardinals are holding on to the top three spots in this event. And now it looks like Raina Lewis out front in lane six. This is unusual. We usually see the strongest swimmers in lanes three and four. Yeah, Lewis out to about a length lead over Carmaker right now. And at the final turn, it's going to be Lewis out front. Carmaker still giving chase. Still holding on to a one length lead. And Lewis will take the win with a time of 239.18, followed closely by Carmaker. And now coming in for third, it's Burns in lane two. Cardinals are going to claim all three of the top spots. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Oh, this is the Four stars, lane three. Tavalos, lane five, Barry, lane one. Chief Barry. Your partner, lane four. Josh Marco, lane two, Liam Carroll, lane six, Neil
Boys 200 free into the water. And your early leader seems to be Josh DeMarco in lane. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, yeah, Josh DeMarco in lane four out front. And he's first at the turn. Good battle there for second. Looks like about a three-way battle for second. At the turn, DeMarco out front still. Now moving into second, Liam Carroll in lane two. Juskovic over there in lane six, giving chase, but he's dropped back to third and fending off the challenge in lane three from Cabela's. DeMarco completely unchallenged now as he is pulled away from the field by better than half a lap. Liam Carroll with about a two length lead over Iskovic. And DeMarco still way out front and going away. Marco lapping North Star swimmers already. And no sign of slowing down. Marco putting more of the North Star swimmers a lap down. And Marco will tag in for the win with a time of 209.05. Great swimming there by DeMarco. Now here comes Liam Carroll in lane two, swimming in second position. Carroll also swimming unchallenged right now. He's going to tag in with a time of 2.42.73. Over in lane six, Miskakovic is going to tag in to claim third with a time of 2.52.06 as the Cardinals swim one, two, three in this event. Cabellos, lane three, tagged in to claim fourth. And George Berry in fifth, followed by his brother Dominic Berry in lane five. Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Girls, 200 IM. And into the water they go. Your early leader in lane four, Emerson Dalton. Three way battle for second. Dalton with the turn. And in lane two, it's going to be Molly Romaine swimming in second. Romaine under heavy challenge there from the lone Nottingham swimmer in Burke. Dalton's not waiting around to watch, though, as she's pulling away from the field. Very handily. Dalton with the turn. 
We've got a side-by-side -side battle here for second still. Molly Romay and Vanessa Burke. Dalton continuing to extend that lead. Now it looks like Burke has gotten ahead of Romaine. Dalton doing the breaststroke down towards the turn. And there's the turn. Good long glide underwater. Now she'll head back towards the next turn. Burke is firmly clawed away at second place. Now Dalton with the turn. Going into the crawl. Burke by two lengths in second. Here comes Dalton, heading back towards the finish. And Dalton will time in for the win with a time of 233.53. Burke is solidly in second, but we've got a two-way battle for third now between Romaine and Simpson for Lawrence. Pulled by both swimmers fighting for third. Burke times in for second. And a very close finish there. I couldn't tell who got it, but according to the scoring, it's Megan Simpson claiming third in lane six. Boys 200 IM into the water. Early lead seems to be lane two, Ethan Wang out front. Swimming in second, Carpinelli in lane four. And Sabella, Sabella's, I'm sorry, that's McGuire in lane three, swimming for Nottingham. But Wang upsetting the field, swimming in one of the outside lanes here, lane two. As he's definitely pulling out to a huge lead in this event. Over there in lane four, Carpinelli still giving chase. Lawrence not fielding a swimmer in lane six. Boys team's been a little short-handed this year. At the turn, it's Wang way out for it. Then Carpinelli. Carpinelli unchallenged at this point as well. Wang with the turn. And he'll go into the breaststroke. Now Carpinelli with the turn, giving chase. Wang coming up to the turn. There's the turn. In lane three, we see McGuire still hanging on to third. But in lane two, 
It's Carpinelli all the way. Now Carpinelli with the turn. A short glide and he is surface. Go right into his crawl. I'm sorry, that was Wang. Now Carpinelli with his turn. And he'll give chase, but I don't think he's going to make that distance up. McGuire in lane three, still on his breaststroke. Uh, here comes Wang. Tag in for the win with a time of 248.84. Over there in lane four, Carpinelli finishing up strong. And Carpinelli will tag in with a time of 305.54. Claim second place. starting with his crawl. And in lane three, it's McGuire headed towards the finish. And McGuire will tag in with a time of 339.93. Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Girls 53. And it's an all out sprint for the girls. Leads three and four just about dead even. Then a three way battle for second. Lane four, Bassinet starting to pull ahead with the lead. And Bassinet's first at the turn. Looked like uh, Hope Lustician was second at the turn as well, but she's got a good stiff challenge there in lane three from Burke. I'm, that's Aqua, I'm sorry, Aqua in lane three. And coming in for the win, it's gonna be Bassinet with a time of 39.49. And over there in the far lane, Don is going to finish in fourth place. Beer Cardinal, lane four, Straka, lane two, Roger Four, and lane six, Nikolov. Fifty free for the boys. And into the water go the boys for the start of the fifty free. Early leader, without question, in lane four is Nick Straka. Straka with better than a length lead at the first turn, the well, only turn in this case. He's going away there in lane four. Three-way battle for a second. That's going to be a little too close to call, but in for the win, Straka at a time of 26-22. Second's going to go to Ford in lane three. Third, Christoph Shapur. And fourth, Nikolov. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS-TV. Uh, 
Queen Girls 105. To the Warsaw. Lane 3, Ordonia. To your partner, Lane 4, Selling. Lane 2, Vaughn. Lane 6, Eburn. Girls 100 fly into the water. And side by side battle for the lead between lanes two and four. That's Snellings and Carmacker. Looks like Snellings with a slight edge at the turn. In fact, all three of the Cardinal swimmers claiming the top three spots right now. Looks like Snellings, Carmaker, and Burns swimming first, second, and third. After the turn, Snellings extending the lead even further. But looks like Burns and Carmaker swimming fairly close together. Carmaker with the edge here. In lane two. There's the turn for Snellings as she heads back towards the starting blocks. Now lane six, Burns with the turn. Carmaker's already made the turn. And Snellings will tag in with a time of 126.74 for the win. Lane two, Carmaker is going to come in second with a time of 134.66. And over in lane six, swimming in for third, Emily Burns with a time of 139.34. Good swim by the Cardinals all around. start of the 100 fly. Wow, what a start for Verga as he had almost two lengths by the time he got halfway across the pool. Verga with the turn. And Verga is in a race all by himself while McGuire and George Berry battle it out for second. There's Verga with a turn. Halfway. Still a good battle between McGuire and Barry. Slight edge going to McGuire now. But it's Verga all the way in this race as he's on his final return. Good long underwater glide by Verga. And Verga is going to tag in for the win with a time of 105.90. Meanwhile, back in Nottingham land, over there in lane three, who we got there? That's McGuire. McGuire has distanced himself a little bit from George Berry, actually by quite a lot. Looks like McGuire's tiring, but he's well out in front, front of Barry. 
And McGuire will tag in with a time of 147.65 to claim second. And here comes George Berry in lane one. And Barry will claim third with a time of 159.63. for the girls. And into the water they go. Out front in lane four, it's Daliwa. In fact, all three of the Cardinals out in front of all three of the North Stars. At the turn, it's going to be Daliwa, then I'm sorry, that's Julia Daliwa, followed by Olivia Daliwa, and then Sahara Rajaram. Daliwa sisters laying claim to this event. In fact, they're very close together. But it's Julia in lane four at the turn, followed by Olivia. After the turn, saying bigger lead for Julia Daliwa. Next turn, the Julia DeLewa out front even further. We've got about two lengths now over Olivia DeLewa. In fact, over there in lane six, Sahara Mahajaran closing a little bit on second. But in the meantime, Julia DeLewa is going to tag in for the win with a time of 117.47. Her sister in second. And close behind, behind run in third. Lopez in lane three. Looks like she'll come in to take fourth. And Ovale over there in lane five. Going to take fifth. Aqua is going to round out the competition in lane one for sixth. Swimming in second is Ford in lane three. At the turn, Wang's extending his lead by quite a bit. And second looks like a three-way battle. As we see Nikolov fighting back in lane two to try and claim second for the Cardinals. Wang well out in front of everyone. And Nikolov has moved into second place in lane two. Now Wang with the turn. Nikolov pulling a little bit ahead of Ford for that second position. And Wang is going to tag in for the lead and for the win with a time of 104.12. Now solidly in second, we see Nikolov in lane two. 
He's going to tag in for second with a time of 116.93. Ford grabs third. And over there in lane six, Carter Edwards is going to go the distance for the Cardinals to claim sixth place. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Girls 500 free. And into the water they go for the beginning of this grueling endurance race. Early leader looks to be in lane two. Leah Kibbe. And yes, at the turn, it's going to be Kibbe with a slight margin over Sharma in lane six. Cardinal swimming first, second, and it looks like Yuckmau in lane four has laid claim to third. Ford close behind in fourth right now. In a race of this distance. It's easy to go too hard early on and end up running out of steam at the end of the race. Kibby still with a slight margin over Sharma. Both girls pacing themselves quite well. Yuck now swimming solidly in third now. There's the turn for Kibby. Cardinals swimming one, two, and three. Kibby out front, followed by Yuckmau and Sharma. Sorry, Sharma's ahead of Yuckmau right now in lane six. No question about who the leader is, though, as Kibby has led from the start of this one. There's Kibby with another turn. And it looks like Yuckmau starting to close on Sharma. Sharma with a slight edge at the turn still. Kibbe at the other end of the pool all by herself. Sharma and Yuckmau just about side by side. And I think that's going to be Yuckmau with a slight lead at the turn. Oh yes, Yuckmau has moved into second place. Kibby not ready around the watch. Kibby gets the nine on that turn. And Yuckmau solidly in second now. Sharp is going to have to keep going. And she wants to hang on to third. Kibbe with another turn. Kibbe well out front. Yeah. 
Kimmy out for a nice relaxing swim and she'll come up for turn 11 on the marker. Yuck now extending her lead over third. Sharma still swimming in third. Or Ford getting closer. Now Kimmy with the turn. Be heading down there, starting to lap some of the North Star swimmers. There's Ford giving chase in lane three, trying to catch up with Sharma over there in lane six. I believe. Duckmouth swimming strong over there in lane four as well. Could be on the return. We got a side by side battle for third, but Kibby has tagged in for the win with a time of 541.70. Over there in lane four, Yuckmau reaching for that second. Yuckmau tags in, and we've got a real challenge here as it looks like Ford has moved ahead of Sharma for that third position. Ford takes third. And now Sharma will tag in for fourth with a time of 6.15.07. Ritter in lane five on, I believe, her final lap. Regardless of the time, it's quite an achievement to say that you've finished the 500 free. And it looks like Ritter's going to be able to do that. Ritter with a steady pace heading towards the finish. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. free for the boys. Both teams only fielding two swimmers for each for this event. Early leader in lane four, easily Nick Straka. Straka with the lead at the turn. And it looked like Cabellos had, had second in lane three, closely challenged by Carpinelli in lane two. In fact, they're having quite a battle for second place. Straka's busy checking out. In fact, 
Straka has distanced himself from the rest of the field already with quite a ways to go. Sabalos holding on to second with a slight edge over Carpinelli. Straka with the turn. And Cabellos and Carpinelli almost dead even this time as they go by. Our camera sticking with the leader who is Nick Straka in lane four. Straka with turn number five there. And now it looks like Carpinelli has moved into second place, pulling ahead of Cabellos. Strack is at the other end of the pool. He makes his turn. And Carpinelli starting to stretch out a lead over Cabellos. He's got better than one length on Cabellos now. As he seemed to be doing a little better job of pacing himself. Straka coming around to start lapping with some of the North Stars. Uh, Carpinelli is extending his lead in lane two over Cabellos in lane three. Coming up on turn nine. Carpinelli with the turn. And Cabellus with the turn. He better get swimming because here comes Nick Straka. Straka has already put Chiarelli a lap down. Now he's looking to do the same to Sabellas. Carpinelli, meanwhile, has really stretched it out over Cabellas. Straka has already put Cabellas a lap down, and he'll be looking to come after Carpinelli next. within about two lengths of lapping Carbonelli. Cabellus is more worried about just finishing by now. And Chiarello doing the same in lane one. There goes Straka putting a lap on Carbonelli. Now, last lap for Nick Straka. Straka headed down towards turn 13. Carpinelli still holding a very good distance over Cabellus. And Straka headed toward the finish. And Nick Straka is going to take the win with a time of 4.54.61. Now Carpinelli coming in for another turn as he's not at the end of his event. But Carpinelli is leading all the other swimmers still in the water as he puts another lap on one of the door stars. And Cabellus comes down for the start of his final lap. Cabellus still swimming strong, but to no avail as Carpinelli goes sailing by the other direction. 
as Carpinelli's going to head towards the finish. Carpinelli takes second place with a time of 5.52.73. Now Cabellus working his way toward the finish. And Cabellus will tag in for third. In the time of 6 15 27. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. by Olivia DeLua. She got out first, but over here in lane two, it looks like Riley Burns chasing her down. And Burns will take the turn first. DeLua in second, and Hunteron in third, as Cardinals currently swimming one, two, and three. Turns in for the changeover and into the water goes Rihanna Lewis. Over there in lane six, it's Hopeless Titian into the water and in lane four, Barbara Carmack. Good battle for second between the Cardinals in lanes four and six. But it's Lewis in lane two out with the early lead. Pulling away. Lewis tags in and into the water goes Simpson. Over in lane four, it's Deliwa, Julia Deliwa into the water. And in lane six is Nicole Dong for Lawrence. As Lawrence still swimming, one, two, and three. Simpson in lane two with a healthy lead. Followed by Julia Deliwa and Nicole Dong. At the changeover into the water in lane two, it's Zoe Snellings to finish it out for the Cardinals. Over in lane four, it's Paige Van Heis into the water. And in lane six, Dong headed over for the changeover. Top two Cardinal teams have really pulled out over the rest of the field. And we see Zoe Snellings really digging as she heads towards the finish. Snelling's in for the finish with a time of 2.12.93 to take the win. Over there in lane four, Paige Van Heist tags in with a time of 2.19.63 for second place. And Bassinet over there in lane six should be coming in shortly for third. Now here comes Bassinet in lane six. And she'll tag in. So the Cardinals swimming in all three top spots. Now lane three, we see Ritter coming in for the finish for the North Stars. Lane three, the North Star, Harry. 
Cool, Maguire, Marl, New Five, Hot, Vasquez, Canada, and Florsham. Green One, Good, Westcat, Dominic Perry, Wrong. Here are Cardinals. Leading forward, Colbert, Ethan Wang, Liam Carroll, and Lyle Miller. Boys, 200 free relay. Cardinals only fielding one team for this event, but it's a good one as Cole Verga out to an early lead in lane four. In fact, Verga with about four lengths already over the second place team in lane three with George Barry swimming. Now into the water for the Cardinals goes Ethan Wang. Lang setting a blistering pace as he heads down towards the turn. Now Wang with the turn. And he's already starting to lap North Stars. Wang coming up to the changeover. And into the water goes Carroll. Carroll swimming strong in lane four for the Cardinals. Carroll with the turn. And now Carroll headed back towards the changeover. And into the water goes Nikolov. Nikolov with a good push there to finish out the event as he'll head down towards the turn. Now Nikolov at the turn as he heads back towards the finish. Nikolov swimming strong as the Cardinals are in a race all by themselves as the three North Star teams well behind. Nikolov's going to Come in for the win with a time of 2.01.31. Next closest team is in lane three. And they will tag in with a time of 2.15.16. That was Sabellos swimming the final leg for that squad. Over in lane five. I believe that's Bomb swimming on the final lap. Oh, I take that back. That was not Bomb. That, that was Be Dom Barry. Now Bomb's in the water in lane five. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Oh, Backstroke for the girls. And they're off. North Star is only fielding two swimmers for this event. And it's a good side-by-side -side battle with the lean between lane three and four. Looks like Alex Murphy in lane four has a slight lead. Burke in second, and close behind is Molly Romaine in third. Yeah, 
Out front, it's still Murphy in lane four. Followed by Burke and Romaine. Murphy with the turn, followed by the other two. Over there in lane six, we'll see Olivia Yuckmau doing her best. Murphy with better than a length lead now in lane three. There's a turn, the swimmer's heading back towards the finish. Out front in lane four, Alex Murphy still holding on to the lead, but a little bit of a close there by Burke in lane two. And in for the win, it's going to be Alex Murphy with a time of 122.66. Burke for second. Molly Romaine's going to tag in for third. And over there in lane six, Olivia Yuckmau will take fourth place for the Cardinals. Boys 100 backstroke. Now six lanes full for this one. There's the start. And your early leader by quite a bit appears to be Verga in lane four. Verga with the turn, and he is already halfway back. Verga off like a rocket for the start of this event. Now Verga with the second turn. And here comes the rest of the field. Looks like lane three, Weepsick in third, in, I'm sorry, in second, and Yuskovic in third in lane two. Yuskovic coming after him though. We've got a bit of a challenge for second. And they're side by side for second place. Berger's already claimed the win with a time of 106.33. But we've got a good side by side battle going on for second place. And after the turn, it looks like the slimmest of margins. Malos Yuskokovic swimming in second position as he comes into the picture, followed closely by. Wiedersek in third. That's going to be Kukovic, Wiedersek, and Miller. Then Chiarello and Edwards. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. for the girls. North Star is only fielding one swimmer for this event. And as they surface, it's going to be 
Katie Sullivan in lane four with the early lead. In fact, she seems intent on stretching that lead out while we've got a three-way battle for second. Sullivan at the turn with a big lead. And side by side on the turn, it was Zoe Snellings in lane two. I'm sorry, yeah, lane two. And Rich Sharma over there in lane six. Now Sullivan in the next turn. And Snellings in second, but battle for third now between Sharma and Ford. Sullivan continuing to stretch out that lead as she heads down towards the turn. And there's Sullivan with the turn. Still a good battle between the Cardinals for second. But Sullivan in a league of her own in this one. Sullivan coming in for the finish. And she'll tag in for the win with a time of 130-41. Over here in lane two, it's going to be Zoe Snellings grabbing second, followed closely by Ruka Sharma in lane six, and then Ford in lane four. Boys 100 breaststroke. And into the water they go. Early lead with a really long glide there in lane four is going to be Josh DeMarco. DeMarco extending that lead as he's already down to the first turn. Swimming in second in lane two is Liam Carroll. But DeMarco is gone in this one. DeMarco with the next turn. Now we see Carroll being challenged by Tizak from the North Stars. DeMarco all the way at the other end of the pool already. He makes his final turn. And it looks like Carroll is fighting off the challenge. And he'll be laying clean to second, hopefully. But it's going to be DeMarco in for the win with a time of 111.13. Carroll in lane two, swimming in second. And Tizak in lane one, swimming in third. And it's going to be Carroll in for second place with a time of 136.22. Followed by Tzak, then Babkowski. Got a bit of a race going on for the final two positions. And it's going to be Dominic Berry out by about a length over Kian Kajashpur. Uh, Berry takes fifth, and Kajashpur goes the distance to finish out the field. 
You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Seems to be in lane four with Megan Simpson out front. Then Burke in lane three in second. And Lewis in third in lane two, but not by much as she's fighting back for second. In fact, I think she's just taken it. At the turn, it's going to be Lawrence Swing one and two with Simpson and Lewis, followed closely by Burke in lane three. Simpson with the turn. Over there in lane six, we see Emily Burns swimming. And here comes the top three into the picture. And at the changeover, it's going to be Leah Kibbe coming in, in lane four. And Paige Van Heis in lane two. As they continue to hold down the top two spots. Ordonez in lane three for third. Kibbe on the return already. Paige Van Heist giving chase. And she's actually closed up that gap a little. But at the turn, it's still Kibbe out ahead of Van Heist, who's ahead of Ordonez. Coming up to the final turn for this pair of swimmers, trio of swimmers. And Kibbe is out front by about a length. The gap has not increased or decreased. It stayed about the same. Van Heist digging for all she's worth, trying to close that up. Into the water goes Riley Burns in lane four and Katie Sullivan in lane two. Sullivan digging, trying to see if she can unseat Burns for that lead. And they're just about dead even at the turn. And it looks like Katie Sullivan has pulled into the lead in lane two over Riley Burns. Sullivan with the turn, now Burns with the turn. Sullivan with about a length lead. Make that a length and a half, and she is really digging. Sullivan with her final turn. Now Burns with her final turn. About a two length lead now for lane two. Meanwhile, in lane three, Ford in the water for the Nottingham North Stars. At the changeover in lane two, it's gonna be Alex Murphy into the water. In lane four, Emerson Dalton enters the water. Now we see Ford coming into the changeover. 
And into the water goes Ritter. We want to lead two. There's Murphy out front, but Dalton has really closed it up. In fact, Dalton has taken the lead in lane four. Big turnaround here as lane four has retaken the lead from lane two. Emerson Dalton over Alex Murphy. Dalton is stretching that lead out now at about three lengths. Dalton still, I'm sorry, Murphy's still giving chase in two, but Dalton's going to be in for the win by the time of 4.45.03. Murphy brings it home in second. And currently swimming in lane three for the Nottingham North Stars is Ritter. Or there in lane six, Julia Dalewa turning laps. Now here comes Ritter on the return. Ritter seems to be swimming strong as well. And she will tag in for third. Finishing ahead of Julia DeLeo. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Boys 400 free relay, final event of the meet. Into the water they go. Both teams only fielding two lanes worth of swimmers. Early leader in lane four is going to be Ethan Wang, followed by Liam Carroll in lane two. Wang out to a huge lead in this one. Wang with the turn. Now Carroll with the turn. Swimming in lane three, George Barry with his turn for the Nottingham North Stars. But over in lane four, it's Ethan Wang out front. He heads for his final turn. And sprints back towards the starting blocks where he will be changing over for another swimmer. Now in lane four, into the water goes Josh DeMarco. Liam Carroll's going to tag in, and into the water goes Nick Straka. George Berry is going to tag in, and into the water, Cabellos. And over there in lane four, it's Ethan Wang already headed back for the completion of his first lap. He'll turn around and go again. Followed closely by Straka. Over there in lane four, DeMarco with his turn. Now Straka makes his turn. DeMarco heading for the changeover. 
He'll tag in and into the water is going to go Tom Carpinelli. Carpinelli coming up to lap. North Star swimmer in lane three. That's Lou Cabela still. Cole Verga in lane two giving chase. And he's catching Carpinelli. In fact, he's going right by Carpinelli. The lead has changed. It's now lane two with the lead. As Cole Verga is pouring on the steam. Over there in lane three, forward into the water for the North Stars, swimming in third. Now coming back in lane two already is Cole Verga as he's heading for the changeover. Carpinelli swimming strong in second. And into the water in lane two goes Ken Jostapur. Meanwhile, lane four, it's going to be Nikolov entering the water for the Cardinals. And we see Zacharias there in lane one as he'll hand it off to Tzak. But coming back in lane two, it's Kajostapur. And giving chase over there in lane four, it's Nikolov. Kajostapur makes his first lap complete. He'll go down and do a second lap. And now it's Nikolov giving chase in lane four. And there goes Babkowski into the water in lane three. Battle for the win is going to come down to Kajostapur versus Nikolov, and it's going to be within a length. Wow, that was down to within a fraction of a second as Kajostapur just barely held off Nikolov. The difference in the times was two tenths of a second. That's very close racing by the Cardinals to claim first and second. I believe this is Zacharias in lane one still. North Stars also have team swimming in lane three. Yes, they're in lane one. Tzak's going to go into the water. Over there in lane three, Babkowski, I believe, is going to finish up for the North Stars. And he will finish up to claim third. Now it's up to Tzak to bring it home. Tzak swimming strong. That's going to do it for us here at the Bird Bath as your Lawrence Cardinals are victorious over the Nottingham North Stars with the girls team winning a score of 134 to 33 and the boys winning with a score of 107 to 58. Special thanks to our camera operator, Piper Howe, for shooting the event. And thank you all for tuning in to watch. Be sure to tune in again next time for more exciting Cardinal sports action on LTPS-TV.